how to add a logo to your Shopify store. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can add a logo to your Shopify store so that it can be added by default into any space that requires your logo. So to do this, simply head on over to your Shopify store and click on online store on the left. Once you do that, you're going to click on your customize option for your Shopify store theme. Once you click on customize over here, you're going to see a panel on the left. So on the leftmost side, you will see this gear icon, which is the theme settings icon. So you just want to click on this. And once you do, click on logo. Once you click on logo, click on select. Once you click on select, you will see any images that you've already uploaded. But if you haven't uploaded your logo, just click on add images and then upload the image of your logo. So I'm just uploading my logo like so. Once I've done that, I can select my logo and then click on done. Now, in any space where my logo was supposed to be present, it's going to be added by default. So on all of my product pages, on all of the pages, my logo is going to show up. Now, additionally, you will see the icon of a favicon. A favicon is the icon that appears on the top left whenever you have multiple tabs open. So if you have a favicon, you can click on select and select your favicon over here as well. Usually a favicon is a simplified version of your logo because your logo is not going to be readable in its full form. It's only going to show up as a tiny little image. So usually just take like the initials of your logo or the basic logo design and just make a smaller version or a simplified version with simpler shapes. Once completed, click on save. And once we click on save, if I click on exit and go back into my online store, and open up my online store here. My logo is here. If I open up the catalog page, my logo is here. If I open up my product page, my logo is here. Now there is one more space that you actually should add your logo to, and that is your checkout page. So you can do that by going into customize. And once you go into customize, click on home page on the top. Once you do that, click on checkout and customer accounts. Once you click on checkout, you will see on the left, my logo has been added. However, sometimes your logo may not be added by default. So you just want to select your logo over here and then click on save. And now my logo is going to appear on the top of my checkout page as well. Now, this is how you are meant to add a logo to your Shopify store, but there are a couple of other things that you should know about Shopify if you're getting started with launching your online store. First off is that Shopify does not have a default review widget tool. So you can use third-party tools like Judge Me and you can easily add a review widget. To do this, just click on apps and then click on apps and sales channels, then open up the Shopify app store. Once you open up the Shopify app store, you can search for Judge Me, which is a product review tool, and you can download this application and you will easily be able to get reviews on your products. Now, another really important thing whenever people are adding products on their Shopify store is that you don't have to manually add products if you already have a CSV file. So if you already have a CSV file, but you're uncertain that maybe it's not going to be imported properly, you can take a few simple steps to ensure easy imports from any other platform. Just click on import and click on download sample CSV. Once you download the sample CSV, you can easily open it and add your data the way that it is added in the sample file, or just copy and paste your data from your original file into the sample file so that it is structured properly and according to Shopify's preference so it can easily be synced into your Shopify store. The third thing that you need to do is create your favicon and logo. So we've uploaded our logo, but sometimes a lot of people, they don't realize they are not creating proper logos or proper favicons. So for this, I'm going to go into Canva and I'm going to search for logo and you will see there are several different logos. Currently, my brand name is Spencer and this is my logo. It's a pretty blank logo, so I'm going to get started and I'm going to click on create blank logo and we're going to get started from scratch. Canva also has several amazing free templates for you to use. Now, you will see different styles, different types, and I am actually going to go into templates and search for clothing or makeup. Let's say this is a makeup store called Spencer. So I want to get some ideas of makeup based logos. And I think usually with this, a good font and a nice illustration is going to work well. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for lipstick and I'm going to go into graphics 
I'm going to search for a nice simple illustration that is going to work well with our brand and we're just going to search for it and this is a really nice illustration of like a lipstick swatch and then I'm just going to take a simple bullet lipstick or a simple lip tint like this one yeah and once I've done that I'm going to resize that place it at the center and then I'm going to go into text, add a text box, and I'm going to write Spencer. And now we're going to resize and restyle our font. So I'm going to go and I'm going to search for luxury fonts from the top left. Once I do that, I have several different fonts that we can choose from. And we want to choose something that looks professional but still is recognizable. It still differentiates you a little. So I think I want to go with the... Boston Angel one, I think it looks really nice. And I'm going to resize it, and obviously, we're going to increase the size a little. And then I'm going to layer this to the front, and I'm going to restructure this. So, you guys are going to see how we're going to be placing this. I'm going to resize it to be pretty large. Now, this is an illustration where I want it to be at the back of the center part, but it still should be pretty visible. Okay. So you can either just click on this, click on there, send backward if you want it completely backward. But if I want it to be somewhat on the front, so I want it to encapsulate some of the text. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do command C and then command V. Take the original lipstick, okay, the original one, and then place it where I want it to be behind. Then I'm going to layer this on top like so. And then crop it to the point where it was behind like this. You guys can see it's actually eating up the E. So you can actually stylize this in a different way as well. This is up to you. But you can make this look really interesting. I can make it actually fill out any eyes if you have any eyes. Or any other alphabet. You can just make it look really nice and interesting. But we're just going to proceed with a different illustration. Because I think my brand style is a bit different. So we're going to go with a bullet lipstick instead, something along the lines of this. And once I've done that, I can click on share, click on download, and then download this as a PNG and even remove the background by clicking on transparent background. Now to convert this into a favicon, you're going to simplify your design because favicons are tiny and you really can't see the entire thing. So I would just change it to remove some of the additional text, leave the S and then leave the bullet lipstick because it's going to be visually a cue that it matches, you know, your brand name. So like this, I would just restructure it, take one letter from my original brand name. And now we have the favicon version, which we can now upload on Shopify. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.